Peace the face of perfection. Noah. You should write this shit down. What is that at the top? All right. All right. Talk right. about favorite um, products. All right. Hopper. Rotor. Oh, no, that's mine. I like the spire. Rotor wins. I you hated the spire. Didn't you say that? No, no I like the spire. He has the spire. Oh. I don't like the spire because of the fins. They break. Right. The reason I like the spire is I've never had a problem with it, and it's a lot more lightweight and lower profile. I also don't like how it is like vibrate activated. Like I said that in my one video where like you shoot and like if you you know make it or if you shoot it dry, it's like ring, ring, ring. Yeah. Ring. <laughs> Not bugging. I just have something constantly spinning. Yeah. That's just me. What else? I tried out the pulse for a day. It sucked. It didn't suck. I just didn't like it. Yeah, they're kind of like cheaply made. They seem. Yeah, I don't like how inconsistent the chrono was compared to a, like a virtue clock. I noticed that. You just had the rotor? Yeah, I just have a rotor now. I had a rotor, a Spire, and a Z2 at one point. Z2 suck. I don't like Z2. Yeah, I smashed mine the first turn I played with it. Don't wiper smash these? Yeah, wiper. Yeah, no, wiper well, mine is unintentional. Wiper stomped his out. Was it a Z2 or was it a Pulse? Or a Spire? It's a Z2. Oh. Yeah, he bought two and he stomped both of them out. First had a Z2. Good customer service because they replaced his shell, but I don't like it. I ended up like selling that to Brent. I just gave him Spire for what Brent gave him for the Z2. It helped him out. Helped out Brent. Helped out Brits. <clears throat> what else we got here? Um, I talked about my gun. My favorite gun is either the Lux or the DM14. I currently have a GM12 and it shoots great and I don't care about it cosmetically so I can just beat it up and it shoots good every time. Die for life. <laughs> I shot a Lux I for heard. almost three years. It has a special place in my heart but I have a GM14 now and it's kind of... I moved on. Good choice. Yeah. That is wise. Um, people don't have to talk about barrels that often. I don't know. I like, I like the... Uh, just a normal standard <laughs> ultralight. Yeah. I think die has the best barrels. Um, if it's if you ha if you have the money, I'd say to get a boomstick. Just you can throw it on whatever gun you get. Just don't even use the stock barrels. <clears throat> put the boomstick on there. Yeah. Always works good. Agreed. I wish die wink wink came out with the boomstick for Lux. What is Lux? Impulse third. Yeah. Impulse third. Or Lux should just go out of cover third. That'd be nice. Yeah. It's like all my videos and all my playing videos. If it's not a Lux in my hands, it's got then, a then it's got a carbon fiber barrel. Aerosol tournament. Is that for the aerosol tournament coming up? Well, okay, one second. Um, tanks. Uh, I'm not the biggest guy. I got, you know, kind of longer arms. <laughs> um, I like the 77, all my efficiency tests usually are the 77, it's only like, literally, about that much longer. You, you have a 68, right? Yeah. You have a 77. I have a 77, yes. I would suggest a 77, like, um, I'll bring this up later, but thanks, 77. My, yeah, I like, I use a 77 too, just because I used a 68 and then I ran out of air and I didn't want that to ever happen again, so I bought a 77, so... You don't really have to take in like how efficient a gun is really into mm -hmm. account with a seventy seven, I guess. Makes a big difference. Like I said, it's only like that much longer and on average like two pods more. Yeah. Yeah, still like the sixty eight, it's shorter, doesn't weigh as much. And I even though I put a one inch um regulator extender on it. <laughs> you you just get a seventy seven. They they I feel like they weigh too much. I don't know. Really? Mm -hmm. They're kinda heavy. Not kinda That's heavy. why I wanted like a Old school, like Pure Energy 70. It's yeah. like the same length as that 68 you have upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They're not like fat though. I don't know. I don't make them heavier. 77. Just they hold more air. I think so? The Dura coating. Yeah, I got rid of my Duras. Right. No, because they, when I was at World Cup when they released them, they were, he compared it and like let us hold them. Yeah. And they weigh the exact same. A 77 and a 68? No, Dura coating. Oh. oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, 
That's it. All right, you wanted air salt? Air salt. The air salt's right there. Yes. Um, There's a local series called Air Salt. They go and win. Yeah, we'll be sending, uh, we'll be sending how many lines? Five? Mm-hmm. Planning to send five lines. <clears throat> Hopefully bring home that $5,000 in PE cash. Yeah, any regional or local teams in the Midwest, you should play that. Because you can win like $5,000 in Planet Clips cash. Yeah. So it's a good, it's a good series, a good event. It's gonna be a good event. It's D four is one D three drop in, so. But yeah, we we should do pretty well. Yeah, our line should be some solid competition too. Some solid teams. Some good, uh, good grinder. Uh, what else? The Lux OLED. I was gonna bring up the seventy seven. If you go on Nation, you go to like the DLX forum and you find the thread about the OLED people are always or a lot people are okay I'll say a few things people are bitching about the price being jacked up to 1500 when in reality the price isn't jacked up the price on the 2.0 is brought down 250 bucks right yeah yeah so the Lux is not being jacked up at all you're getting like two more inserts a new case and an OLED board that's gonna Oh, it's gonna be cool, but for like the same price as like a Lux 2.0, and then the LX is in, ended up dropping their price on the 2.0s, 250 bucks. So you're not spending more money by going for a new gun. You're spending the same amount you would have a month ago on the same gun with an OLED board. If that makes sense. Also, people are complaining about you guys seen that they're talking about efficiency. They're like, don't put money into a board. Uh, one guy made a good argument saying that it's like an OLED board is nice, but that's not innovative. It's us too, like we can do that too. Yeah. Everyone's complaining about efficiency. We just talked about tanks, you know, it's that much longer. Get two more pods. Uh, if you want efficiency, you get a bigger tank. That's my tip. Most of you guys like that. <laughs> FOD. <laughs> FOD. Bring back FOD. Yeah. We want to bring back our personal field in the backyard. That was a lot of work though. It's a lot Worth of work, but yeah, I mean, it'd be it'd be so much cheaper in the long run compared to air assault, you know, charging however much with plus admission. I mean, if like it's a higher quality field than like anything around here. Yeah. Yeah. We should do that. Bring back FOD 2014. We should get a vault. They're often say do it. Yeah. <laughs> who wants the backyard field back? I do. Right, that's three. Kyle kind of saw a shy ass over there. Yeah. I don't have anything to talk about. You guys are like taking the lead. No, you're going to be a seven. Eight, seven. It's talk, better. All right, it's talk, talk about where you guys came from and how you came from across the ground. Play interviews. <laughs> oh, yeah. Play interviews. Uh, um, oh, yeah, oh, no, you, you can go. I right, go first. Okay. This is um, Colton. This, I'm Colton Flanagan. Um, we came from uh, Minneapolis Shift, which was. Kind of one of the main MN Pro teams, MN Pro speedball teams, and um, practice like every weekend usually. Um, kind of, kind of like to get a lot of commitment from players or structure. And Chris just kind of offered me a spot on HG. This guy right here tried reeling him in months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, it was just too good to pass up, and you know so. So playing with HG, you know, HG ride or die, man. He's a good loyal player. I respect that. Yes. Tits with these. Yeah, pretty much the same thing for me. Played with Minneapolis Shift and kind of fell apart. Jumped on the HG bandwagon again. HG bandwagon. I like that. <laughs> it's a good wagon to be on. Yeah. It's a winning wagon. It's a strong wagon. <laughs> <laughs> We we're planning to play all five PSP events this year. Hopefully, if we can get the guys up to do it and everyone has the funds, yeah. should we bring bring home some hardware, some national hardware. Hopefully, I think we're gonna have a strong. I mean, I said this last time. I think we're gonna have a strong D4X. Yes. Line. Um, we should. Thanks to these guys. That's right. Do a giveaway. Let's see what we got. Giveaway for the subscribers. I don't know. Everyone's
everyone's kind of horned up to play right now. But yeah, I'd have to say Texas is my favorite event. Ooh, good call. Favorite events, man. Favorite Def events. Definitely my favorite event. Sounds like your favorite events. Yeah, I've only played PSP Chicago personally, but <clears throat> one thing I really like about national events is that like you get to like, literally go around the United States, like you know Chicago, MAO, uh, Polk City, Dallas, Cali. Did you, guys, did you guys scooch over or something? Yeah, yeah we, we, we like, scooted over. Like, well, you did come back. I'll just move the camera. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks to Flanagan's suggestion. Dude. Z. He's reprimanding the dogs. <clears throat> For giveaway, I'm going to do my personal pair of grills. I only wore these. I only wore these once. No, twice. Anyway. Some basically version. Those smoke lenses too, right? Yeah. Smoke lenses too. It's very grills. These O-rings that you put on these for these visors, those suck to do. Yeah. It's so, so hard don't... to put on. Yeah. But I'll give these away. It's who should get them? Someone has to earn them. Yeah. Somebody's got to do something. Um, do do like you can do like a question thing maybe. A comment, oh, like, you like know. history thing. Yeah, like some yeah, I got this. Yeah, you have to post a video response. Do I do some work? Post a video response on what got you in the paintball. Right, that's good. Huh? That's good, yeah. dude. That's like what got you in. Like, okay, I'll talk about me. I got started playing paintball by a friend in school who invited me to play in his backyard. I've been hooked ever since. I started playing paintball a long time ago. Not seriously, like I said, I'm in pro in the woods with a 98, like almost everyone out there. But, um, and then first time I ever shot a speedball gun, it was kind of like a, it was like a different world. I was used to like, if you wanted a fast shooting gun, you put a response trigger on your 98. So I did that, yeah. first time I shot an E-Tech, I was like, oh my God, what is this? Like, <laughs> and then hooked ever since. Yeah, I started out because my best friend's brother um, used to play X-Ball all the time, and I came out and watched him a few times, and then he let me play a point with his stuff on, and I was hooked ever since. That was my line. We should add, uh... It's interesting you do the book guns you don't. Yeah, yeah yours, really, yours is a very long story. I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember all mine. Yeah. My first was a JT 2.0, I think. It didn't work worth shit, so I got a 98. Yes. And then, then I got bored with that. Then I got a Spider Electra Deluxe. And I used that for like two years. Then I got a Shocker. Shocker. Now you have five more now. I got five. <laughs> Damn you, eBay. Yeah, Chris just keeps winning guns. He doesn't even know how. I know, it's just like the two easily accessible. We should add that in this video. You can't okay, because I'm gonna get like a dozen respond video responses. We should we should pick one. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll pick one of the guys. Whoever does the best. I don't know. The most detailed. Most like. Most like. Well, I don't know. Cause you want people like make it up. You know what I mean? So it's gotta be like. That's true. It's gotta be like a You're gonna good story. They have to make it up. <laughs> it's gotta be like a good story of how you started <clears throat> being involved. Like mine sucked, for example. So don't go off that. What is a good story like? Mm. We don't give many examples. It probably makes something. <laughs> so, video response. We'll cut you into paintball, and you can win these. I will announce the winner March first. Give some time. That's a long time. March first. I'll announce the winner. Do anything going on March first? Mm, nothing. No. Dallas, March 14th. That'd be nice, right before Dallas. Damn, I could probably use these in Dallas, because they the visor. I can hook you up. Hook you up. Maybe I'll get a new pair of girls, and I'll keep these. Mask preference. Mask preference. I don't know. All right. A new pair, a new mask, either I-4s or girls. You let me know. And I will go to local store and buy them and ship them. So you won't get this mask, because it's used twice. But you'll get a mask, and just let me know. You could pick. I-4s and girls. And profiles are pretty much the picks around here, right? Yeah. E-flexes are, too. 
You can have, you can have a choice. That's good. Good call. What else? So oh, what masks do you like to wear? Oh yeah, we, we, we all we all wear different. I wear I fours just because I like I like the vision. I like how you can easily replace the lens. Um, the dye logo has something to do with that yeah. as well. <laughs> um, what else? I just like the I fours. I just take out the lens whenever I clean. I just dump them in the water and we're good to go. I've I uh, used to wear grills all the time, but started getting uh, I don't know, like kind of like hard to breathe in, and like when you talk, they kind of echo. That's the only thing, but like they, they're a really popular mask out there right now. They look mean and there's a lot of different cool designs. I've recently been into flexes just because like they can old, own a bunch of parts from, you know, the 90s and stuff. I just think that's cool. And, you know. Vio. I'll do a vio. The Virtue Vio. Yeah. That's so that's, big though. That's pretty baller. That's so big. Is it? Not really. Eventually. I mean, by March 1st, it'll be out. Yeah. Wizard gets them this week. I think it's a vio, like 135. Oh. Not the vial. <laughs> Not the vial. Not the vial. Sorry guys, cold and ruin it for you. Abort. <laughs> Actually, no, no, we'll do a vial. We're in a vial. Yeah, we'll do a vial. <clears throat> um, yeah, murder Kelly over here. <laughs> I started out wearing I fours, then I wanted to grill just because you look super aggressive in them. And then this guy got me into the flux game, but I think I'm going to sell out already. and. <laughs> Go back to I four is I just I don't know flexes are comfortable and everything they just don't fit my face right over like kind of like a small face. I feel vulnerable with them. I used to wear flexes too, but they feel because there's that huge thing. Yeah. yeah. Some grills. I mean that, that's about this big of a a gap that's yeah. comfortable for me at least. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like the flexes just because. Well, I worked at Evan Pro as a ref, and the grills were just not good. They were for like breathing in and just for yelling. It was. So then I picked up flexes, and then I realized, okay, these are way more comfortable than my grills. So just kind of got into flexes, and I don't know. I like that you can yell loud, like in game, and you they're That's comfortable, true. and they're very comfortable. I never wear cleats. Oh, that's a fun fact. Yeah. Except for like those the last, things. No, except for like the last two factors. I wear those like turf cleats. I wear hiking. Yeah, those are. I wear uh, hiking shoes, hiking boots, right? Yeah, like waterproof hiking boots. Yeah, like that comes in handy like in Chicago when it rains and all the shit comes down. L literally, like a, was it Badlands? Two thousand ten. Yeah, ten was super bad. Like, oh. really, really deep mud. It was nine or ten or. Mm. All the crap came down. Literally, like, like horse and cow shit. Like, came down <laughs> out of the field. I'm not even kidding. That's like, horrible. I think it was 2009. I think it was, I think it was Badlands. That's horrible. I, uh, I, I wear, like, I don't even know what they are. They're like baseball or football cleats, but I don't even tell. My foot's fairly large, so finding size 15 cleats isn't very easy. I kind of wear whatever works. Yeah, I just have Nike soccer cleats. Nothing special. They grip really well, though. We should get Fod back. It'd be so we got We got so much better that year. Like yeah, that's, couple not, years. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'd be willing to stay, like, come two hours early and stay two hours late, just set it up and put it down. Yeah, that was the problem, because like, people would say that, and then they'd be like, oh, I gotta leave early. No, no, I would it's do like, that. Right, <laughs> yeah, of course you gotta leave early. Yeah. That was the problem. Then it'd be like me, Nick, to work, and like two hours would be stuck taking everything down, cleaning everything up. So would you, would you take down the whole layout every time? Yeah. Yeah. Unless we did like two work. Unless we did two days, then we would leave it up. Mm -hmm. We only did that like once or twice. Did you like <coughs> just like deflate it, or did you? Yeah, pull? We, yeah, we deflate it. Oh, things you pull all the stakes. Like we we had to do that at Pro, for. Our <coughs> thing. I've that done was, it a million times. There, yeah. it's the worst. Like four people. I mean, it'd take four hours. It's a lot of work to set up the field. Yeah. Especially when it's not gridded correctly. Yeah, we'd grid it every time, too. It would take us like three hours and stuff to peel. Because we'd grid it every time. Yeah, we wouldn't leave the bunkers out because it would kill the grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, if we do it where we're thinking about doing it, we should be on the outside of that tree line. We could leave the bunkers out. And then they get sun baked and turn into M and Pro's bunkers. So right. I'd rather put in extra work. Yeah, we will leave the bunkers out. 86 of bunkers. <laughs> <laughs>
I did do that in like four videos. <laughs> I have to like, I don't know, I have to look at myself in the mirror before I do that. Up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> so what are our plans for the summer, Chris? When it gets when it gets nice outside. Our plans are to play a lot at MN Pro. Represent. Um, <laughs> we I don't know, we talked about playing vicious events again. Yeah. Might play vicious if we can get enough interest on the line. Um, we do want to play every PSP. That probably won't happen because last minute bailouts. It's, no, it's notorious, it always happens. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going after free agents again. Because that sucked. The free agents were good except for one of them. He sucked. And he was like the dumb father and everything. Still never even paid me for the event. Bastard. Um, what else? We're going to win every local, hopefully. We might have to, or not have to, but I kind of suggest that we would ref. You know, I do it. Yeah, for the, yeah. For for like national cash or. Well, just help them out, and like, fi we'd figure out something. Mm hmm. I mean, they're willing to help you out because, like, whole, the only thing they care about is that there's people that can ref that, like, for us when we refed it. Yeah. I mean, they told me last minute, like, after I got done playing oh, the D five division, yeah. they're like, everybody "Yeah, you leave. actually need a ref," and I was like, "Okay, I've never refed." You know, like a uh, tournament before, and then we got <clears throat> these guys over here in aerosol just like overshooting each other like crazy. It's what it's what we do, you know. So, yeah. but I was like, oh, okay. I I think they should do just the D five event. Yes. Fair. If you're watching this, do just D five. Show my names. Because D four, it's gonna be because if we're gonna wreck, it's gonna be just aerosol and. Pretty much it. Just gonna be a sleep for Harris. Why doesn't Vintage ever play any locals like that? Uh, they were they didn't, they didn't play the. No, they didn't. D four, D five. I don't know. I don't know. Just do D five. You got yeah. a lot of entries. Yeah. But they have to allow us to enter a couple lines too. And we can't. Yeah, D five line like it would be like more of a national line roughing instead of. Right. Yeah, I told them. I told them to be no biased roughing mm -hmm. or anything like mm -hmm. that. I'm jacked to play paintball. Uh -huh. I, play, I like playing paintball. Paintball's a good thing. See, up here in Minnesota, it gets cold. Let's see what this week's weather's supposed to be like. Oops. Minnesota's weather is very bipolar. Yeah, okay. I don't know if we can. Alright, focus on that shit. There it goes. See, so 9, negative 2, 25, and 7. 36 and 7. Like, what's that? I got. 20 degrees again, 10, negative 15, 1, negative 9. That's better than it was like a week ago, though. It was negative, like, 27 is a high, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there was... No school, though. We had no, <laughs> we had no school for what two days because it was so cold. Hashtag yeah. RSM. I ordered some dye pants. No. Should be here oh, tomorrow. Pants. really want them. I want to get some of those. You all those pants. ultralight pants are legit. Yeah. I dig the tan and orange ones. I got extra small smalls. I hope to God they fit. You get extra small? Are you that tiny? Yeah. The waist size on them is, says 20 to 30. Yeah, we're at 29. Yeah. And the uh, leg length, or the inseam is 30 inches, and that's like what mine is. Jeez. Yeah. Exalt Thrasher 3s. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Are they coming out? They're out already, but Pro doesn't have them in stock. Why don't you buy those ones, or did Wes will buy those? Because I want the black ones. They just, they order Exalt on Tuesdays. So. Mm. Maybe they ordered some this week. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, Aaron said they were really backed up. Are they? Yeah. But Ambush got them playing the woods, man. Ambush. You want to scrimmage in the woods. <laughs> we're coming for you, Ambush. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't any of them watch these? I don't know, I feel like... I feel like Joe no chance, no chance Damien doesn't watch these. Who's Damien? Damien Pondy. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> the way I described him. But, um, yeah. You were going to call someone out for a second? Yeah, it's so Joe Buccelli. Oh. He guaranteed he watches those. The acquaintance got pissed at... Okay, so I made that video last time. Yeah. And I made like two of them because one of them was... Zeke. The hair Zeke. One of them dogs. Just... One of them was bad. So was bad. Yeah, I was put it down. It. <laughs> yeah. Wait, um, what? I made like two videos yes last week. Yeah. 
I only posted up one of them because the other one was bad. And I mentioned the acquaintance, Jameson's acquaintance. Oh. And I didn't keep that one. He got pissed. So Jameson's acquaintance, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hump the shit out of you. <laughs> full homo. Someone posted full homo on my on that video. Yeah. So I like I like that. Not a homo. Married. But I like that. Um, what do people want to see? People kind of kind of videos, man. I want to see more of reviews. I think I think that's a big thing. Oh, dude. I'm dead serious. I'm. Go grab some. DM 14 review. Alright. He's gonna go grab a gun to review. And we're gonna call this. Oh, right in the face. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna call this video good. DM 14 review. This gun's amazing. I don't have anything on with it. That's what's gonna be. That was something weird. Alright, go, go, go get it. Go get the, the shocker. <laughs> I'm gonna molest this man now. Deuces. Ready for this? No. <laughs> <laughs>